Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much for coming to our facility, our beautiful facility here in Diamond Springs. Um, we're going to have a couple of speakers here today. My name is Henry Brzezinski. I'm the chief of El Dorado County Animal Services. Um, and we're going to have Don Ashton, um, our director of Health and Human Services Agency, which we are under um, a unit of the Health and Human Service Agency. So Don Ashton's going to speak for a bit. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out. Um, just a, a few words so we can get back and start enjoying the fun part of this, this show. I just want to say thank you to everyone who helped put this, put today on. You're kind of one of my sayings is if government is involved, they can make a positive impact. If a volunteer is involved, they can make a positive impact. Sorry. And if our nonprofits and communities are involved, they can make a positive impact. But if you put it all together, things like this happen that um, in this county. This is a state-of-the-art animal shelter. We have people from other counties coming to look at it to see how we did it. They wonder how we did it for as cheap as we did. And I don't know, quite <laughs> frankly. I think it's because of all the hard work everyone put into it. You know, As of today, we have over 60 volunteer staff who work with us on a regular basis to help take care of these animals. You say, think they get paid, a volunteer get paid just, say, $10 an hour. You know, it's at $600 an hour. We couldn't afford to run this place without the volunteers we have. So everyone who volunteers, thank you. To our nonprofits and our rescue animal groups and everyone like that, we thank you as well. We couldn't do it in this county. Just in the past year, I've been in this position for a year and a half, and in the past year, we've had three significant incidences which have been actually just pretty amazing. The Sand Fire and the King Fire, with the help of Animal Services and all the volunteers and non nonprofits in this county, we saved hundreds or thousands of animals in those fires. Just a few weeks ago, we had to seize 90 horses from a foundation that had gone bankrupt and the horses were in danger. We got rid of all of those horses um, within, two, within two to three months. That, and we did it because of the volunteers and the staff and everyone. Some of them were, went as far away as Texas to come pick them up and they did it free of charge. So thank you again to everyone involved. Before I turn it over to Supervisor Veerkamp for a few remarks, there is a special organization we want to um, recognize today. And that's, that's POD. So I'm gonna read, <laughs> outstanding. I'm going to read this proclamation that was given to POD at the Board of Supervisors meeting on January 27th. It says, whereas People for Animal Welfare in El Dorado County, POD, has promoted compassionate and responsible care for all animals in our community for over 14 years. And whereas POD has provided invaluable support to the County of El Dorado through its partnership with Health and Human Services Agency Animal Services by managing the Animal Shelter Volunteer Program and coordinating fundraising efforts in support of the Animal Services Pet Aid Program. Whereas the Finishing Touches campaign organized by POD raised over $200,000 in funds for the new Western Slope Animal Shelter, which furnished the shelter with a large animal barn, canine turf, shade cells, medical equipment, cat towers, grooming equipment, and cat condos, and aided in the project remaining within budget and on, t on time for full completion. Just a little segue, if you haven't seen the barn, you walk back through the building out the back, there's cows and sheep back there right now that again were rescued from a, from a property owner. Whereas the POD Board of Directors voted to graciously distribute $20,000 from the general fund to, to the Health and Human Services Agency Animal Services Division specifically to fund a part-time animal shelter volunteer coordinator position and an additional $18,000 in funds to the Pet Aid Program for shelter, animal medical care, and spay neuter coupons. And whereas the dissolution of POD effective December 31st, 2014 is a pro profound loss to the animal welfare community, now therefore be it proclaimed that the Board of Supervisors of the County of El Dorado hereby formally recognize and thank POD for the contributions and the support its members have provided to promote animal welfare in El Dorado County since 2000. And this was passed by the Board of Supervisors on January 27th. And yeah, you, you heard that right. POD dissolved in December. We're panicking a little bit, what, figuring out what we're to do. But you, read, you add up those numbers, it was over $250,000 that they contributed to this cause. So I believe they're around here somewhere, if they can come up.
All right, that's all I have. I'll turn it over to Supervisor Brian Veerkamp at this time. Well, I'll keep it brief, but thank you all for being here, Don, staff of uh, the Animal Services, as well as all of HHSA and POD. We couldn't have done it without POD. One other group that was very instrumental in helping us get here today is the local community that lives around. Yeah, we uh, had some concerns, but staff went overboard. They'll continue to go overboard, and we want to fit into the community well, and, and they certainly are, and we appreciate that very much. We've got a state-of-the-art facility. Don's not wrong when he's talking about that, and uh, people are lining up to come see it and see how it was done. And I just can't help all of those people that, that made this happen, especially Pod, enough. Because again, like anything else, it, it takes a community to make success, and this is one success story. And uh, we hope to keep these coming from the county. And uh, Don, when he said got rid of, that's not a good word to use around animals. So uh, they were successfully adopted out. And uh, we, 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 we certainly try to make that our emphasis. And uh, for the community as well as surrounding community, actually Folsom now is talking about how to do animal services better and who knows it might lead to a contract or something but anyway county is on the cutting edge that's a good thing for the county and and that's where we want to be thank you all for being here today it's a beautiful day i see roger roger how you doing over there um and others but thank you i think brent there's brent back there brent made this happen as well he worked hard and working on some other things so thank you brent but thank you so much enjoy the afternoon and uh, take a look because it's beautiful thank you very much okay have a great day Again, enjoy the facility, take a walk around. Um, I know we've said pod a lot. Um, those folks have been great. They've been beside us for so many years to make this facility, this beautiful facility come to fruition. Um, as you'll see around, many other animal welfare groups that we partner with in the surrounding area and region, um, they help us complete our mission of finding homes for all of our animals that come into our facility. Um, somebody came up to me earlier and we were talking about the types of animals we have here. We can house reptiles, we can house lots of kittens, which unfortunately we have lots of those. Um, just down the streets, animal outreach. Um, we have a part-time vet. We're very fortunate so that we're able to do spay and neuter. You'll see our, um, excuse me, see our clinic in the back. Um, thanks to the Finishing Touches campaign that uh, Supervisor Rearcamp talked about and Don. Um, we're able to do sterilizations on site so no animal goes out of our facility unaltered. Um, our animals are microchip vaccinated. Um, we provide a really good community service here and please support us. Adopt your animals from local shelters. It's, it's a great place to be. Um, I do want to, if you have a chance in the back, to look at the Finishing Touches campaign wall right next to our um, intake area, our lobby. Um, many, many donors in our community that really stepped up to the plate and donated thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, again, Noah's Wish, which was an animal disaster organization, um, made that barn come to, come together. They uh, they also dissolved recently, uh, but but helped with pod and getting that barn uh, to come together. And uh, we're using that on a regular basis. Um, thank you for our community volunteers. We do have so much support. If you're interested in working, working with animals here in our community, please uh, sign up. Uh, you'll go through some training. Um, we have beautiful areas out here where animals can get out and exercise, and that's what's so important in keeping an animal uh, socialized and adoptable in a facility. It's not just being in kennels all day long. And so we have volunteers regularly taking animals out here. Um, shade sales, as you can see in the canine turf, will showcase all our adoption animals. Um, the functionality of a shelter is so important. Um, there was a lot put into this uh, to this facility over time. Uh, we took an existing shell of a building and turned it into a modern shelter. Um, I can't thank the county facility staff enough. The timing was just right. Brent Collins, I know that mentioned Don mentioned Brent. Uh, Dan Evans, Russ Fackrell, um, our county board of supervisors supporting this program as well, as well as the facility. Um, it, it flows really well. Um, a modern facility will have two separate intake areas. So you'll see the adoption animals will go out the front and the stray animals will come in the back way so no animals cross paths for disease control. Um, we're using modern disinfectant solutions uh, with peroxide in it by UC Davis standards. So we're doing a lot. And again, most importantly, all the other agencies in our county we work with, uh, CPS under Health and Human Services, APS, because we do investigations in our county. Um, the Sheriff's Department, we have a great collaboration. 
um, just all the different agencies. It's, it's, it's a great partnership here in our county. Um, pre appreciate all the community support. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoy our facility. If you have any questions, please come up to me and be glad to answer them. Thanks again. Where's the cat lover right there, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> How you doing?